Yo, what's up homies? I'm super excited for today's video because I'm here at the beautiful Woodward East camp. Uh, I'm out here in Pennsylvania for about a week and the cool part about today's video is that I'm gonna get to ride the part of the new section or part of the new skate park that Woodward has put here at camp called the Town Center. We got to ride it a little bit yesterday and today it's so good. I can't wait to share it with you guys. But before I do that, I'm gonna get a quick cloud nine session, maybe learn a new trick. We'll see. And then also maybe get a couple other lines uh, at some other parks, have a little Bible study, and then I'll get to the town center. Let's get into cloud nine, get this session started. All right, this is probably my favorite ramp here at Woodward East. They call it the W ramp because it's in the shape of a W. What's up, dog? <laughs> I was riding this uh, about 10 minutes ago, getting some fun lines. I'm gonna redo a couple of those for this video. And then I wanna try to learn a new trick, and that is flare, triple down here whip, air. I can triple down here whip, and I can flare, so I figure why not put the two together. <laughs> I'll make it work, but before I do that, wow, that was so sick. Just did a heel clicker. But before I do that, let's check, check out a couple of these lines. All right, sweet. For this next one, I'm gonna go ahead and do kickless, triple whip, straight into front buttercup. And then I'm gonna do whip bar rewind coming back and flare double down heel whip. Oh yes, made it work. Not gonna lie, it was a, a bit stretched out. Dude, look at this. Again, throttle grip, again. All right, for this next one, I'm gonna hop the spine big part into the small and then stall on top of that wall. And then I'll just think of some other stuff just for fun. Ah. Dang it, <laughs> could have been better. Definitely lean back a little bit too much. So let's try it again on this one. Let's see what Tanner's got. Oh, whip bar air. Nice, dude. <laughs> oh, I let it throw up. Another one? <laughs> All right, sweet, so before I get into that flare triple down heel whip, I wanna get some of these homies over here a couple clips because they've been riding this whole session and all of them are killing it. We got over here, what's your name? Tanner Daviano. Oh, Tanner boy, Chanel Martin. Jaden. All right, Jaden and Jackson. Everyone's gonna get one clip because there's a lot of them uh, and I'll get a clip in between just cause it's fun to ride with everyone. All right, Jackson's up first. You got boosted with Buttercup. <laughs> You gotta do it again for sure. <laughs> that was awesome. The foot like just slipped out. It's all right, do it again. You got this, Jackson. Heck yeah, man. Into the flare. Good job, I like it. Hit up his Instagram on the screen. All right, who's up next? I'll do kickless kicker. Kicky kicky air or straight? Air. Okay. There we go. Kickless, kickless air. Same spot as Jackson. Yeah, man! <laughs> you guys so close to me. That was sick. <laughs> I love riding flat in this thing. Good job. All right, Chanel, you want to go next? All right, what's the trick? You calling it out. Chanel's got a uh, line on the spine. I'm going to do my best to get as much of it as I can. She's been killing it on the spine. It's so cool to see uh, other female athletes just shredding other than the ones you normally see. Nice. Into a wall ride? No way! That is so sick! Good job. That was awesome. All right, 
Tanner. Yes. You got the next one. What are you going air, air or? We're going air. What are we doing? Goodbye. Goodbye. Air? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. First try. If you don't get it first try, you're out of the video. All right. Here we go. With fire. Yeah, man. That was awesome. I get nothing. Good job. All right, next up, we got the other channel. What trick are you doing? Kickless. Kickless air. air? All right, send it. Let's see it. Nice, man. That was sick. Good job. Good stuff. All right, start to get everyone a clip. Let's get into that flare triple down heel. All right, first attempt. The goal is just get one foot. Oh, that was a good attempt. All right, I overdid it. Um, I was whipping extremely fast because I didn't want to have to get like stuck on the whips and then not have time to spin. For a first attempt, I really like that. Just run it back and I'll try to roll away with one foot and then two. Oh, I got the 50 this time. Rick, it went straight on the bars. All right, they're not bent. <laughs> All right, second attempt was like terrible. I pulled off of the lip like I was gonna double play and I was like, if I don't bail, I'm over rotating, so. Chuck the scooter. Bars landed upside down, but thankfully they're not bent. And uh, here we are, holding it intact. So, get to attempt number three. All right, I know what to do. I know how to do it. <laughs> I just have to put it into act. Oh, I did it, but it was good. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm hyped. First time doing that. Let's go. Oh yes. Super stoked on that. Layer trip with heel with air. First time I've ever done that. I'm gonna try to do it again cleaner and also in a line. What do you think? Do I got it? I think so. You don't have to comment or nothing like that. Next clip, hopefully, will be me landing a line with the flare triple down here. Landed flat on the kickless dry whip. No speed, but landed everything, just not the last trick I wanted. All right, just happened to have some napkins in my bag and this is gonna come in handy because my hands are so freaking sweaty. My days and my grit. Days, there it is. <laughs> yeah. So stoked on that. Had like so little spin on the flare, but somehow like managed to turn right at the end. All right, let's go to a new park. All right, sweet. So made it to the infamous lot eight. I'm standing outside so you can hear me because it's a bit loud in there. So a little bit earlier today, I was actually able to stack two quick lines right before they did a BMX contest here at the skate park because I'm really stoked on them and I think they look sick, so check them out. All right, so as it turns out, they're actually doing a BMX contest here at Lot 8, <sighs> of course. But I do want to get just this one line real quick. It's a front side air over this channel gap. I'm gonna do quad heel. And then over this big like bank to bank gap, I'm gonna do kickless catch kickless. Oh yes. So that kickless catch kickless is second try. And then I've been working on this front side quad heel uh, for the past 10 minutes. I've been having issues like counting my whip. I kept going to like five on accident, catching it too late, whipping way too fast. But on that attempt, um, I got the quad heel and I timed it just right to where, okay. I can stick my foot out and then catch it. Always a nice feeling. All right, I think I got one more uh, line in me before they kick us all out for this BMX contest. So I'm gonna do front side again, heel finger rewind, triple whip, and then whip, ball rewind, over the gap. Nice. 
Wait, I remember you. Yeah, What's your name again? Kevin. Kevin, it's good it's to see you. Cody, right? Yeah. How's life been? Pretty good, how about you? I saw you were at a, I think it was a UCI event here, no? Oh yeah, I was there. You won? Yes. Good for you. Sweet, so since I already had a session on the wood part of Lade here today, I wanna go ahead and mess around on this resi ramp. So one of my buddies here that I made friends with uh, this week has been saying, dude, you gotta ride resi, you gotta ride resi, because everyone nowadays just loves riding resi and doing unrealistic tricks on a softer landing. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on a flip, uh, triple, and quad finger, because that's a trick I've done before, but I really haven't like put so much effort in perfecting. So I'm gonna try it a couple times on Resi as well as some other stuff. All right, sweet. So just to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and do a backy bar on the Resi. <laughs> All right, that's out of the way. Next one, I'll do backflip, single finger whip, and then I'll start adding whips from there. There it is. All right, got a single finger down. I'm just gonna go straight into flip triple thing because I think I can do it. Oh, darn it. Almost had it. You got that. Thanks. All right, first attempt done. Done this trick before, but it's always fun to revisit, uh, especially on a safe ramp like the Resi. So, get the next one. There it is. Good stuff. Stoked on that. Flip triple thing. Woo. All right, so it's happened this way. Kevin is on my scoop. I'm on his bike, it's an 18 inch, it's a little small for me, but I'm still down to have a cruise. Oh yeah, <laughs> catchy thing is that there's no brakes on it and he's riding a free coaster. Oh my days. I would really like to ride bike like my side. Yeah. <laughs> Just too high risk sometimes, you know? Gotta focus on my own sport. All right, I've been employed to a really good at Razzy Chesh. Uh, I'm gonna give like two attempts on finger nothing front scoot with Jackson. All right, finger with nothing front. Oh, almost had it. Almost had it. 15%. <laughs> All right, finger nothing front. <laughs> there it goes. It's hard to keep a hold of it. Dang it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> there it was. Joke on that. Thanks. Alright, four attempts, finger nothing front. I'll probably never do that trick again. I just did it for kicks and giggles. Hey, Jackson, I did it. <laughs> Go do it now. I was just shot on my bar. What a better way to go. <laughs> All right, uh, on to the next segment of this video. All right, sick. Today is a new day. I finished my session at Lot 8. Super fun. I relearned a trick, finger nothing, front scoot. Now I'm here with my buddy Tanner. I've known Tanner for a minute just through like Instagram, and I also spent uh, like two nights at your place. He lives in Ohio. I live in California. A lot different place. But today we're gonna do a little Devo. I got my Bible. His is here as well. We're just gonna dive in and read a little bit of Matthew. I'll set the camera up to time lapse real quick, but I'll talk over this to explain um, what it is we're speaking about. I think it'll be a good time. We had to kind of get away from all the camp chaos this morning. Um, and just dive into the word. So. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity this morning to just open your word and hear from your son Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would uh, bless this time that we're gonna spend together. And I pray that um, whatever you want to be said, that you would say it uh, through me or through Tanner, through your word in any way, Lord. I pray that um, 
this would be an engaging time where we get to uh, grow in our relationship with you, Father. Thank you for this opportunity. In your son's name I pray. Amen. So this morning, Tanner and I read in the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 21 till the end of the chapter. And during this time reading God's word, we were really given an opportunity to be reminded of the fact that God doesn't care so much about all the skill that we have on our scooter or all the stuff that we we have acquired here on earth as much as he does about where our heart is in relationship to him. Jesus has paved a way for us as human beings to have a connection and a relationship with our Heavenly Father. And so when we grab hold of that and take advantage of that through His Son Jesus, God rejoices and He gets stoked. And that is the most valuable thing anybody can know. And I want to encourage you, if you ever have a thought in your mind or an inkling in your mind that urges you toward the curiosity of who God is, who Jesus is, open up God's Word, read the book of John, uh, it will blow your mind. And you don't even need a Bible. You could just look it up on your phone on the Bible app or on Google. All right, sweet. The moment you've all been waiting for, the new Town Center Skate Park at Woodward, PA. I've been riding in the skate park for like uh, three sessions total. Um, I still have a lot of undeveloped lines. To be honest, I'm just getting used to this park. Haven't found all of the lines that uh, are possible here but I am enjoying my time because everything is just so smooth and well made. So, all right, sweet. So for this first trick, I'm gonna hit the channel gap and do a buttercup. I'm switching the camera upside down as per suggested by uh, my buddy Roman. I filmed like this before, but I think with the camera upside down on this trick in particular, you'll be able to see the motion a little bit better. All right, sweet. For this next one, I'm just gonna chalk a chill triple downhill. All right, awesome. Getting a chill session in right now just to get started on the channel gap, but I'm gonna switch ramps and ride the ramp I've actually been airing over. I'll just do a quick little turn down air, and then coming up this little step up, I'm gonna do front skeeter flip. And if I have speed, hey, I'll do a trick right here too. All right, hopping in. This feature is actually pretty cool. It's just really long. Way longer than I expected. Nice. All right, got the front. Cute. I guess I had time and room for a flare. Good stuff. All right, check this out. This quarter to that one. Oh, that was pretty all right. Let's well, hit the same line again, but this time I want to do front bry on the quarter pipe and then quad heel up the little step up. Let's get it. Right. There it is. Quad heel, a little bit of toe drag, but it's all right. This little Euro gap step up looking thing is so unassuming. You're like, oh, it's just like a little kicker into a flat landing. But the distance, the gap on this thing is ridiculous. I don't think it's too large. I mean, I'm able to jump it. I've seen other people jump it. You can get plenty of speed for it but it is just so much longer than I expected. For this next one, I'm gonna go same takeoff I did for that channel gap, but instead of going quarter to quarter, I'm gonna go quarter up as if I'm gonna ride fly out into the hip on top of the ramp. You'll see what I mean in just a second. I'm gonna have to mob for this one, go super high, but I think I can make it. Oh yeah. Got it. So this is the line that I just hit, coming from that quarter all the way up here into that one. I landed it, I got high enough, I went fast enough, but I did it with a foot off. So I'm gonna try it again, 
two feet on the skater, and then I'll come back and try to trick it. Nice, there it was. Oh, I messed up on the third off. So, the gap has been made. I didn't take a foot off that time, so that's quite nice. Getting my balance kind of centered and feeling how this ramp floats. For this next one, I'm gonna try heel finger rewind over it, which I think will be a bit of a challenge. It'd be a lot easier to do a front ride, but I wanna push myself a little out of my comfort zone, not with the trick, but with this specific gap and this trick. There it is. Got it. So since I'm getting the feel for this specific gap, I'll take another trick. I'm gonna do whip bar rewind. Oh my day, I had to land. Literally sitting down to get that one. Happy with that, I'm gonna call it while I'm ahead. Uh, I'm gonna hit this channel gap once again. I think, I think, I'm gonna try to flare it. I don't normally flare channels, but this one in particular, I quite like. So I'll give it a go. Oh yeah, that works good. Heck yeah. You know something about flaring channels. I haven't done that in forever, but because you have to travel sideways so much, you're forced to keep an eye on where your landing is. And so normally when I flare, I can just go kind of straight back. I look up and then I spot the landing once I finish my flip. But on this specific flare, I almost did like a flat spin. It was interesting. At least that's what it felt like. Maddie, are you thinking you're going into the... You're thinking that? <laughs> I don't either. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, this video won't be complete unless I hop on these ledges and these rails. Not much of a rail guy, but I'm all right with ledges. So let's start on this little ledge coming out of the bank right here. Nice, there it was. All right, awesome. I've had some more time to develop a couple of lines here at the new Town Center Skate Park, and I've got one in particular that I want to film and share with you guys. It's probably about like a 30 second, 45 second run. Uh, and given that this is probably only like half the size that the skate park will actually be um, before the new or the other half of the skate park is finished, I'd say that's pretty good. It's kind of hard for me to connect some lines because I'm having to ride alley-oop and front side. So if you could, focus on the line and the positioning of my body and less on the tricks. Oh man, <laughs> missed the triple heel. All right, we'll go back, run it again. That's the tricky part about this line is like, that was a front side air, which is opposite what I normally do. Normally can do that trick anyway, but it is just like a new ramp. Yeah. Feels different, so bear with me. I'm tired after that. Oh man, what a session this was. Here you have it, the brand new skate park, the town center at Camp Woodward. There's honestly a lot of great things that could be said about this new park. I'm excited for some of you guys to get to ride it. If you have ridden this park already, I'm curious. What do you think of it? Comment down below if you've ridden here. Overall, I'm happy with the session. I'm stoked on this video. I learned flare triple downhill. Uh, had a cool Bible study with my friend Tanner, and now got a session at the new town center park. 
comment down below as well what other video ideas that you have for me. And I think that's gonna about do it. Thank you so much for watching. Reminder for your soul and for your well-being, Jesus loves you. The Lord has a plan for your life and he's been waiting for you to talk to him. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.